To begin, insert the introducer needle into the target vein, preferably the right internal jugular. Aspirate to ensure proper placement. Advance the guide wire until the tip resides in the inferior vena cava, or as far as is appropriate. Remove the needle, leaving the guide wire in place. Enlarge the insertion site. Make a small incision at the catheter exit site on the chest wall to accommodate the cuff. Use blunt dissection to create a tunnel opening in the subcutaneous tissue. The distance of the tunnel should be short enough to keep the Y-hub of the catheter from entering the exit site, but long enough to keep the cuff two centimeters from the skin exit site. Pull back the stylet tip into the catheter and attach the catheter to the tunneler. Slide the tunneling sleeve over the catheter so it covers the arterial hole. Insert the tunneler into the hub exit site and pull the tunneler and catheter through the subcutaneous tunnel to the venous insertion site. Do not tunnel through muscle. Gently lead the catheter tunneler connection into the tunnel. When tunneling is complete, remove the tunneler from the catheter. Do not pull the tunneler out at an angle. Keep the tunneler straight to prevent damage to the catheter tip. Flush the arterial lumen of the catheter with saline and clamp the extension. Thread the dilator over the proximal end of the guide wire and advance until it is in the target vein. Remove the dilator, maintaining the guide wire's position. Advance the stylet so that it protrudes from the catheter tip. Tighten the lure lock of the stylet to the proximal end of the venous lumen. Flush the stylet with saline. Thread the distal end of the stylet over the guide wire tip and advance the catheter into the target vein until the catheter is correctly positioned. Remove the stylet and guide wire from the venous lumen. Attach syringes to both extensions and open the clamps. Blood should aspirate easily from both arterial and venous sides. Both lumens should then be flushed with saline-filled syringes. Close the extension clamps, remove the syringes, and place an injection cap on each lure lock connector. Confirm proper tip placement with fluoroscopy. Suture to secure the catheter hub to the chest wall. The unique design of ProGuide, specifically the apposition deflection feature, or bump, reduces the risk of it lying directly against the vessel wall or wall of the heart. The benefit is that it provides smooth, uninterrupted flow of blood through the catheter.